back to my channel. Uh, today, I'm going to teach you about the nearest things to our solar system and our galaxy. Do you know what our galaxy name is? If you know, just comment down below. Okay, guys? The answer is Milky Way Galaxy. Even though it's called a spiral, it's like a spiral. It's like, it's called Milky Way. <laughs> because it looks white as milk. Yeah, right. So, now, do you know the nearest galaxy uh, to our Milky Way galaxy? No? If you know, just comment down below. Also, it, the answer is Andromeda galaxy. Okay? And do you know our solar system? In the, uh, the solar system is where we live. And there are eight planets. Do you know the planet's name? Yeah, I know most of you know, right? So, the first planet which is nearest is called Mercury, okay? It is the second hottest planet to in the solar system. You might be wondering, why is Mercury the second hottest when it's closest to the sun? It is because Venus is, uh, Venus is the hottest planet and Venus uh, is surface it takes like it's very hot like the you know inner core is very very hot so like more hotter than our inner core of our earth okay the third planet earth where we live okay the mars the red planet some people say it's the second home of earth us people human beings okay so third planet i mean fifth planet is jupiter jupiter helps uh, help if you don't have jupiter in the uh, solar system okay then all the asteroids because of the sun's gravitational pull okay all the asteroids will be crashing on into earth as you all know asteroids are very big and do humongous damages okay right? okay Be i'll tell you why it doesn't come to earth the asteroids because of Jupiter, Jupiter's gravitational force. Gra uh, Jupiter, okay, is the biggest planet in our solar system. And if you add all the planets' weight, okay, and including, not including, Jupiter, you know, Jupiter is equal to that weight. That is so heavy. <laughs> okay, so Jupiter's is very big, right? So that's why most of the asteroids stay, but some some come to Earth. You might be wondering why some come to Earth. Some come to Earth because because of Mars's gravity. Even though it's small, the sixth planet is Saturn. Saturn is famous for its ring. It's like it has ice, rocks, and many other stuff. Okay. And next is Uranus. Uranus is tilted. It is very unlikely from every other planet. Because once, if the, do you know the Oort cloud? Oort cloud is the surrounding of the uh, solar system. Okay? Like it's like around, like it's like a second asteroid belt. But there's no planet after that. Okay? So, and one asteroid from that Oort cloud, right, came flying and hit. It was very big. It's like one of the biggest meteorites, okay? It crashed into it and crashed into Uranus and it became tilted. It's like normal, like Saturn, but it came tilted. It's like straight. And the last planet is Neptune. Neptune is famous for its wings. Winds, okay? The winds reach up to 243 kilometers per hour, okay? That is very fast. It's like able to push us down and we'll never get to get up, okay? Thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, if you understand, if, if you understood what I said, just subscribe this button, click the red button and like this video for now thank you for now